Even though nine states had ratified the Constitution, it could still not be accepted because New York had not ratified. New York had a big say since it was such an important state. It was an important state because it had a very large population and big ports. Also, it was the location of the British headquarters during the Revolutionary War. The ratification of the Constitution in New York was a very disputed topic because some people were afraid that they would not have enough representation and other stuff that the president should represent the people. Malachan Smith was the main opposition to the ratification in New York because he did not believe that 24 individuals could represent 3 million people. He thought that representatives should resemble who they represent, so therefore should be someone from the middle class. He also thought that it, isn't, that it isn't possible to know the people you represent just from expensive schooling. You also have to have a kind of acquaintance with the common concerns and occupations of the people. Alexander Hamilton thought that the president could represent everyone and that the fewer people representing the state, the better. He also thought that under the new constitution, taxation is found without representation. Okay. Yeah. Need more representation. Someone from the middle class who truly understands all the people they are representing. That could be true, but we have to focus on the details later. Right now, we just need to focus on the general ideas. Should we just the, shouldn't we just do the details now? Besides, you still have to see that we need someone from the middle class to represent us. The smart, educated people can do that. It's the only way to go. But the representative should resemble who they represent. The president can represent everyone. And besides, the only people that need representing are the rich. They have the most to lose. Can you hear yourself? All men are created equal. Everyone should get representation, and plus, if you're representatives, there's a higher chance that they will be corrupted. Well, we agree on one thing then. The representatives could be corrupted, but checks and balances already assure that they won't be. So we don't really need more representatives. And besides, there should only be one representative per district, and if the districts are bigger, we won't need as many representatives. But then we won't be represented correctly. All the representatives would just be rich and know about business, but that isn't what we need. We need someone who really knows all the people they represent, not just the upper class. When the Constitution was finally ratified in New York on November 21st, 1789, the colonists could breathe a sigh of relief. On the same day New York ratified, North Carolina also ratified. Only Rhode Island had yet to ratify, but truthfully, the battle was won. Because on May 29, 1790, Rhode Island ratified the Constitution. Now all 13 states has ratified the Constitution. The Constitution might actually hold the new country together.